Notice as the firefighters start to exit the room how clear this room is. The camera is in high sensitivity, which means high sensitivity to detail, lower temperatures, approximately 0 to 270 degrees in the Draeger UCF 9000. But notice how clear the image is. The camera hasn't switched to low sensitivity where it shows higher heat. But as the firefighters approach the actual fire room and smoke and moisture start to build on the camera's lens, notice how the image has degraded. What has happened here is no different than when you drive down the road and moisture accumulates on your windshield. You turn on your windshield wipers so you can see. Firefighters often wipe their mask or they'll even wipe the screen of the tick but fail to wipe the actual lens. Another problem we have is we stand up, we put the tick in the actual convection currents or exhaust where it's constantly accumulating. The camera will not work well in that environment because you're constantly blocking the lens. This image is very degraded causing the firefighters to either lose confidence in the tick or think the environment is less severe than it is. So we're going to wipe the lens and I want you to notice how much this image improves. Now you see the camera can see much more detail. The camera is in low sensitivity. You can see the colorization of the actual heat. You can see the convection currents coming over their head. You can see the detail in the firefighters SCBA and helmets. Look at the convection currents rolling out. They can clearly see that. This is why it's important to have a well-trained operator. Don't blame the tool. Understand its limitations and know that it cannot see through anything. It actually is picking up surface temperatures and it's picking up the actual heat in the room, not gas temperatures, and it cannot see through moisture. As this moisture begins to accumulate back on the lens, you'll start to see the image degrade because they fail to wipe the lens. And as they enter the room, you'll see it degrade completely where you almost can't see anything. I've heard numerous times from firefighters searching ahead of the line or off the line, the, the tick whited out, I couldn't see anything, it was useless. They've got to consider where they're searching and where they are. If you're in the convection current or an exhaust or searching above the fire, you're going to be in a high heat, high moisture content. You need to stay low with the camera and you need to wipe the lens accordingly. And understand the camera shouldn't be your sole point of orientation. You should be on a wall, hose line, search rope, have a designated adult guiding you. All of these things are our fundamentals. Don't over rely on the tick. Understand its limitations. As instructor Thomas Anderson teaches us, the tick helps us see the outline and the layout of the room. It doesn't necessarily see everything, but it helps us find our target, whether it's the fire or the victim, better. Learn more with us. Thank you for your support. Take care.